For the longest time now, there's been a debate on who the man in the front cover of the very first Resident Evil game was. Some say it's Chris Redfield, and others say it's Richard Eichen. If you ask me, I say it's Chris because who else is the main character of the game? The two main characters are Chris and Jill. Clearly this isn't Jill. This is a man wearing the same outfit as Chris with the same colors, so why even question it, right? For further analysis, he's got the same haircut as Chris, same hair color, and even though the weapon he's holding happens to be some weird blend of an assault rifle and a shotgun, the PC version of this game happened to be the only version to exclusively include the FN Minimi, and this particular weapon looks very similar to the weapon in the front cover of the game. So literally, the only reason why people question who this is, is because of his face. I can understand why people think this isn't Chris, for that reason. It doesn't really look like him. But you know who it really doesn't look like? Richard! Richard Eichen's appearance has no similarities with the man on the front cover. His outfit doesn't match. His hair color doesn't match. The colors of his outfit doesn't match. Look at his pants. Not the same color whereas Chris's pants are the same as the guy with the front cover. I've heard arguments like, it must be Richard because the Resident Evil issue number one comic book that was distributed for free to promote the game would start off with Richard Eichen trying to contact the Alpha team while trapped in the Spencer Mansion. But uh, this was only done to give us a glimpse of the horrors that lie within the mansion, so we sort of know what we're getting into when we play the game. It was in no way trying to say that Richard was the protagonist or this is the guy in the front cover. Sorry to say this, but nothing here says that Richard Eichen is the guy in the front cover of the game. But you know what? Even I am wrong. I believe I even said this in an older video, so I apologize for false information. But apparently this isn't Richard, nor is it Chris Redfield. To get a legitimate answer, the artist behind the cover art is Bill Sienkiewicz, if I'm pronouncing it right. And he mentioned in his Twitter, the character on the box art isn't based on anyone in reality, such as an actor. He's roughly based on a character from the game. At the time I did the cover, the game's concept was still developing, so I was told to run with it, but include certain elements like spiders, etc. With this said, it is now confirmed that the guy in the cover art is no actual character in the game. After all, this was the very first game in the series, and they did go through many changes during the development of the game. We had different characters that were scrapped, areas and backgrounds were altered. So it makes sense why the character in the cover art would not exactly resemble someone like Chris. If you ask me, it kind of looks like the artist himself. As for the character pose and expressions, I think he used the still shot of Sylvester Stallone from the movie Judge Dredd as his inspiration for the looks of the character. One thing I like about the face expression is that if you cover the left side of his face, he looks angry and ready to take on anything or anyone down. But if you cover the right side of his face, now he looks terrified. It's probably the reason why his face expression is very awkward and yet memorable. I love how parody artist Spidoru included it with Chris in that Resident Evil parody video of his, which is very hilarious by the way. Stop it! Wesker, you're pitiful! And you're gay! But anyways, there's your answer to the question that's been bugging us all for too long. It may not be Chris Redfield to our surprise, but it sure as hell is not Richard Eichen. And with that said, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to give this video a chance to grow. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters for their impeccable generosity. Your support means a lot to me and you are part of the reason why I try to make the best content that I can. And if you like this content, check out the rest of my channel. You'll find more entertainment from separate franchises I like to cover such as Mortal Kombat, Dragon Ball Z, Celebrity Deathmatch, Men in Black, The Mask, Batman Comics, The Terminator, TMNT, Dino Crisis, Resident Evil, and more. If you're a Patreon supporter, check out my exclusive videos such as the Gantz content. And if you'd like to show your support, go to my Patreon and support the channel, which is only a dollar. Sacrifice that McChicken for extra quality content, my friend. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video, and remember to have an awesome 
day.